And this week, we're talking about what would happen if the Tournament of Power came back around. And yeah, we had the Tournament of Power 2, I guess. <laughs> because after the superhero film, you know, there's been a few new transformations and a few new characters introduced, and as well as the Broly film as well. Broly's around as well. So a lot could happen. There'll be a lot of team changes, a lot of big fights. And yeah, it'd be interesting. So I guess best way to start this is let's talk about the team because the team would change up, you know, like, yeah, sure. yeah. yeah we're not going to be seeing TN and Master Roshi in here anymore. <laughs> like there's a lot of new big characters that could be involved. I think, I think the big thing to be addressed first is, do you really think Broly should be in this team? Yeah. Why not? I think it's a terrible idea. Oh, why? Because it's just going to rampage everyone? Yeah. So, like, you've got Kit. Kill, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. And she just went absolutely berserk. She had mm. no control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was she was hitting anybody and anything. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, she only, through the power of plot armor, managed to control herself. And <laughs> in the power of sisterhood, Mm. Managed to control it and work with Kleefler. Yeah. Yeah. Broly doesn't have some magical brother to work with. This Broly's going to get angrier and angrier. And the last time he got angry and angry, what did he do? Try to kill he, everyone. <laughs> he fought Goku, mm. Vegeta, <laughs> and Freezer. I don't Our think. Three strongest. <laughs> At the time, our three strongest fighters. <laughs> I think that's the thing, though, because even if that happened, which, to be honest, I feel like that wouldn't happen. We have seen from Superhero, he is in training to control his rage. Obviously, he hasn't mastered it yet, and I do think he will be angry. But he had to stop training. Yeah. Goku said, you're not allowed to fight mm. because you can't control yourself. Yeah. But even if he did get angry which is fine and probably would happen if a tournament was to happen right now, straight after the events of Superhero. Um, I think that's kind of fine. The only issue, even if he started beating up everyone on his team as well, and even if he started eliminating people in his team as well, he would still be in. The only issue I see is if he accidentally kills someone because then he would be eliminated as well. And there's nothing to say that he wouldn't do that. Yeah. So he, he could immediately turn around. The closest, but he gets angry. The closest person he's probably going to be to is Goku and Vegeta mm. when he gets angry because he's on their team. So, and it's a very small ring. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to care about the, to be honest, he's probably going to grab Goku and Vegeta and jump out the ring. <laughs> Potentially. The, the thing is, he has zero control. He has zero thought process. There is zero reasoning. He could do one thing that could screw everything. There is no reason. I mean, basically, without Ultra Instinct Goku, mm. we would Universe Six would have lost. Yeah. Yeah, probably. So, let's say that Broly basically grabbed Goku and just went proper angry like when he grabbed his head and dragged it across the the, the side of the cliff mm -hmm. except he decided to do that against the stands where the gods of destruction were sitting <laughs> that's yeah. them both eliminated and no more ultra instinct goku and jiren wins hmm is it that simple though yeah, yeah it's, it's as simple as that. E like, even it's... with Gohan and Piccolo still being there with their new forms. But the, the thing is, that's a huge risk to take, it is. isn't it? I think it could also be a tactic, though. Because I think... It's a tactic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think at least for the start of the fight, you know, we would probably see Broly be able to contain his rage a bit. And, you know, he might pick up one or two eliminations before he gets full-blown anger style. And uh, even then, it could be a tactic where it's just like, right, we know you're going to get angry at some point. When that happens, as a team, we just need to move. <laughs> and then, you know, Run away. 
<laughs> yeah, honestly, that could be a solid tactic because if he, if the team members are hiding or out of sight, he's not going to target them, especially when there's so many people around. He's going to go for the nearest and easiest people to hit and he's going to start hitting them. And if the team just spreads out, separates, backs away from him, keeps out of the space, he'll probably eliminate a few people before anyone even gets, like, anyone from his team gets anywhere near him. And even then, it could be a tactic like, right, we'll use him until we eliminate some big people, and then it's like, okay, we need to work together as a team to either calm him down or eliminate him ourselves, because he's going to put us at risk otherwise. I'm also going to raise something controversial here, um, because one of the things that is fought over, um, similar to the whole Vegito Gorgita arguing on the internet is the Jiren Broly argument. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So in the superhero movie, there was um Vegeta was saying that one of the reasons Jiren was so good is the fact that he um was Control a tactical himself. fighter. Yeah. Yeah. And so the reason he was meditating is because he was making up a lot of tactical mistakes. Mm-hmm. So if Broly's just randomly swinging and Jiren's fighting smart. Oh yeah, Jiren could easily beat him in a fight. I've like I see the <laughs> argument of Broly versus Jiren, and strength-wise, yeah, maybe they're similar. But in a fight, no, Jiren would win easy, yeah. just because Broly can't control himself. So basically, if that is the case, they could just if they get out of Broly's way, Jiren could just go straight for him and immediately eliminate him. Mm-hmm. If that's the case, and then it's kind of a so you could just be the case of you run the risk of Broly accidentally eliminating somebody on your team mm-hmm. or him being a wasted place because basically you let him run riot. He maybe eliminates a couple of useless people who Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, all these super duper fighters you've now got could have done anyway, but Jaren's immediately got rid of um Broly anyway mm. because you've had to leave him alone to do his thing. Would you like a wasted place where you could have probably put Roshi in there? <laughs> uh, maybe. But would <laughs> Jiren go straight for Broly as he starts getting angry? We see in all throughout the tournament of power that Jiren held back until he needed to fight. If he sees Broly going on a rampage, he's not gonna step in. He's gonna let him Take out as many people as he wants until he gets close to Jiren, and then Jiren will jump up. Well, no, he did that with Kale. He did exactly that. As soon as Kale started berserking, he went. He he just was like, "Kale, stop it now!" And he literally <laughs> put her down. Yeah. He was like, "You need to chill." <laughs> he picked maybe, her up and blasted her. <laughs> maybe, maybe he would do the same thing, but also. You know, if the team isn't focused on Broly and trying to stay away from him, I'm sure Goku or Vegeta or someone else could hold off Jiren momentarily. Because mm. I think I think the thing is, the other universes aren't going to scale very well. No, Obviously, some of the like you're not going to have like Basil and everyone like that doing particularly well. However, I think people like Jiren mm. and Top are going to be very strong if mm. round two was to come around. And I think you're going to find that if, if as of now, you were to step back into the ring, into the tournament, I think people like Top and Jiren would step up and they'd be just as strong mm. as some of our fighters. What if they changed the rules and just said, okay, this time you can kill people. <laughs> then I think I honestly think Hit could be MVP most eliminations. Mm. He's a universal assassin. He could easily destroy, well, kill a lot of people in there. Oh yeah, but I don't like on someone like Jiren. Not, I don't know if he could kill Jiren. No, maybe not Jiren, but I think he could take out maybe half of you know the main team. You know, he could he could take out. You could take out a lot of universe sex. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I could see if that rule was gone and you could kill people, I could see it lasting until near the end. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Um, Because that was the whole thing. He was holding back. 
and we haven't ever seen hit at full strength because he was never allowed to kill anyone, and because of that, he yeah. couldn't go all out. Goku's you know, yeah, Goku not universe six and hits universe seven, isn't it? That's the right way around, isn't it? The other way around. Is it the other way around? Am I getting mixed up? Yeah. Yeah, I mean the other way. Yeah, the other way around. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always get the two mixed up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I. Yeah, I can definitely see him taking out probably half of the team at least. Mm. Well, let's talk about the team for a minute because we haven't yes. even mentioned the full team. Of the, of so, the old, the old team, easily. Yeah. Definitely. So, out of the people who I think would still be in the team. So, so that, you know, yeah, yeah, so there's a team of 10. The people who are still in the team, who are in the original team, I think we've got Goku, Vegeta, yeah. Gohan, Piccolo, yeah. and maybe Android 17. Right. And that's it. Five of the original team. Disagree, but okay. Yeah. Only oh, Android okay. 17. Okay, right, okay. Android 17, just because he was... The one who lasted until the end, he did get the finish and blow. He got the win for the team, and I think when I when I made my list of ten, I got a I got the first nine, and I thought, okay, yeah, Android seventeen can probably take that last spot. So those are the five that I've got who survive. Okay, so I I agree with those five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then those, those top tier because yeah, seventeen's at least demonstrated that he's super Saiyan blue level, so he's yeah. very strong. Yeah. Those are the first five who survive, who are still in the team. The new five members, I've got Broly, Gamma One, Goten, Trunks, Majin Buu. Definitely not Goten and Trunks. Definitely not. Really, though? No. They have mm. no way demonstrated that they're strong enough to. Let's think of it this way, though. They are Saiyans. If you're gonna if you're going to go down the fusion route... No, no. You... Not even the fusion no. route. No, it's simply because they are Saiyans. Well, half Saiyans. They're still Saiyans, though. They're strong. Yeah. They're probably stronger than Tien, Master Roshi, Krillin. Okay. And just because of that, you know, there is no reason for Goku to suggest bringing Frieza back again. There's no reason for Goku to suggest bringing back any other villain again. So I don't think they will. I don't think they would invite Frieza back. I don't think they would try and revive Cell or anyone else. I suppose, yeah. I, I, yeah. I suppose, I'll be honest, I had Frieza in the team. Mm. Uh, however, I forgot, I'll be honest, I forgot from a law standpoint that we wouldn't be using, it would be a round two. So I didn't consider it from a law standpoint that, yeah, we would need to take out Frieza. Yeah. Um, because they they wouldn't bring him back when they've got so many. You would also you would also have no reason to come back. Yeah, so. exactly. He's already been brought back to life. He wouldn't want to join again, even if the universe was at risk. Like he wouldn't really care. He would either try and join another universe or just say no. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, I hundred percent agree with the boot pick because mm -hmm. Boo is one of the arguably fighters. one of the strongest in. The universe yeah um i mean especially when he's fully trained mm -hmm. he and i really want to see buff boo like in shape yeah. boo go to, into a fight that would be in like, incredible he massively surprised goku with how strong he was yeah when fully trained mm -hmm. he can fully regenerate mm -hmm. um he's incredibly strong um and his abilities don't, are insane don't, yeah. don't be sleeping on boo no not it's, at all <laughs> Like he, he was very strong in the preliminary tournament, mm -hmm. and that was when he was fat boo. Yeah, like he, he really flexed on. I think which one did he fight? He didn't fight Basil. It was Lavender, I think. Lav yeah, he fought Lavender because Gohan fought Basil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Goku fought Bogamo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, he absolutely flexed, um, and that was fat boo. Yeah. Um, so when he became um, fit strong boo. boo he, <laughs> absolutely like taught he, he he really like he really pushed goku mm. but then he fell asleep so if he's awake he is going to be a force to be reckoned with mm. he could easily end up mvp yeah he could definitely because his abilities as well especially if he can kill people he would turn half of half of everyone involved in the chocolate to begin with and yeah. they're either just being eaten and that's them gone 
or he's just going to turn them out of chocolate and just throw them out of the ring, and they they can't do a single thing about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gamma definitely Gamma won because they've demonstrated that now they're good guys. He's a good mm-hmm. guy. Um, yeah. as of the end of Superhero, mm-hmm. um, Hedo said that he can make an army of Gammas because that's what he wanted to do. He didn't want to make. Any, he didn't want to make Max sell. He he wanted to just keep making lots of gammas. Yeah. So I think it's a fair assumption to say that there's going to be a gamma two. I think it would be. Yeah, I think we'll bring. It I back think it would be well. strange if they didn't have another gamma two. I think they're they're kind of a two peas in a pod. Yeah. So I think we're going to have two gammas. I really. didn't add him just because. He hasn't done it yet, and we don't know if he actually will or not. So I thought, I can't put in a team member who isn't technically around. Fair, fair. Mm. Um, I just, my worry with with Goten and Trunks is, is they, they, was, they weren't particularly strong last we saw them. They were very weak. They, mm. we lived in... They were just kids, yeah. yeah. They lived in a time of peace afterwards, and they obviously haven't been fighting or training because when Max Cell came and they tried to fuse, they became fat Gotengs. Mm. So they obviously haven't been training in any way, shape, or form. So mm. they've been lax. Actually, so I think it's a fair but estimation. So was Gohan, though, and then he trained a little while to get back up to fighting shape. Yeah, but Gohan has the cheat codes. It's true, but <laughs> who, who would you have instead of Goten and Trunks? Because there's not really many others. It's you know, true. Like, like Krillin isn't as strong as them. Tien probably isn't as strong as them. Master Roshi definitely isn't as strong as them. Was Krillin, Android 18? Maybe. I would say I would say 18's probably a better bet than Goten or um, Trunks. Hmm. She has unlimited power reserves. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, they're they're kids that haven't haven't fought since they were little kids. There's no indication that they've been training since. Obviously, they still can't fuse. It would be a huge risk um, to. They fuse. teased it at the very end of the film. They did the fusion dance again and fused. We just didn't see the result. But yeah, I think everyone is assuming it is actual go tanks, not fat go tanks. Yeah. Um. So. I would say her limited power reserves would probably be better used. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we're sleeping on Krillin, but he has experience in tournaments previously in a tournament setting. He wasn't he the first one eliminated though for the team. He he let his guard down. I'll give him that. Yeah, mm. but at the same time, again, these are inexperienced kids who again are very out of shape so who's to say they're going to do any better Uh, um, potentially it depends on strength alone i guess yeah i mean i I don't know i think that's a tough one um i just yeah but if, if you were to replace one with 18 who would you replace the other one with so so i've got to just check the numbers so so we've got Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, 17. Boo is 6. Yeah. yeah. Gamma 1. Gamma is 7. Broly. Yeah. I don't want, I don't know if I want Broly, man. I don't trust the Broly choice. <laughs> I just, do you really think Broly's a choice? Yeah, I think he has to be. I think he does. The, no matter what, if the universe is at stake, even if he does get rabid, they're still going to bring probably their, arguably their strongest fighter. They just will. Why wouldn't they? I think it's just too big a risk. I I think they would have no choice. They would rather him instead of Frieza. Hmm. I just think it's you're just bringing a ticking time bomb. That's the thing. Yeah, you are, and like like I said earlier, I agree. But I think they would strategize around that. I, I remember the strategies last time. They didn't particularly pay off very well. Like, Gohan team captain, and then they just all literally just walked off in different directions. Mm. 
Broly's a bit of a different beast, though, because he's part of your own team, and you know he's going to explode at some point. I think they would literally just have to just say, Broly, go get him! Just literally just rab a dog, and then just hide and take cover and hope yeah. for the best. We know that Broly can, can still listen when he's enraged, because Freezer said, look, Broly! And then, you know, Paragus was dead, and he looked over and seen him, and then that enraged him even more. So, no, he can listen. Uh, you know, he has done a tiny bit of training on the Beerus planet, uh, trying to control that rage. So, you know, he definitely won't have mastered it, and he will fully rage, but I think he has the ability to listen and maybe calm down slightly. I think it would depend solely on whether or not you could kill and how far along his training has come. Mm. Because literally, they, like, Goku was just like, just stop. You need to stop fighting. You, you're getting in my way. Yeah. Like, you know it's bad when Goku's like getting annoyed at you and just like, you're getting in the way of me training. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, in that case, who are your final two members then? To join the um, group? Okay, I'll, I'll play ball. We'll go with Broly. Um, right. I'll play ball. Um. So, so we need one more then, yeah? If, yeah. if we're accepting Broly. Mm-hmm. I think I think I'd have to choose Krillin or Roshi over Quoten or Trunks, you know. Oof. I just think they'd be a better choice. Mm. I don't think Roshi would go because he's too old. Uh, I mean, he is still a good fighter, but I think he would probably give the spot to Krillin, if anyone. Yeah. I just think that, yeah, it would probably be Krillin over Roshi after his, his, his scare last time. Mm. But I just think, yeah, the kids are super saints, but like they're inexperienced. They haven't fought in a long time. They they're not trained. Mm. Gohan isn't trained either. However, he is still a lot more experienced. He has innate power, which he's demonstrated recently. Mm-hmm. Um, we've seen what he can do when he he, ha- he seems to have this ability to train and become very strong very quickly. He seems to be able to awaken it. That has been demonstrated. They haven't demonstrated that. Mm-hmm. They have been out of the game for a long time. Um, I just don't see how they would be effective fighters for the most part, whereas mm-hmm. Quillen has at least some tournament experience. Um, yeah, I just, I think, I think sleeping on Krillin would be a bit much, maybe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Krillin, if he was in the team, would definitely be the weak link by far. He would be, he would be the weakest link. Um, but I also think Goten or Trunks might be, um, because we know that you can fuse during the tournament because Kalen Khalifa did it. So you know, their their fusion lasts thirty minutes. The tournament power lasts what forty two, I think. Yeah. So you know, they can fuse for the majority of the tournament. Like, straight off the bat, they could go fusion, pa, and then they're fused for the majority yeah. of the tournament. I, I, suppose, I suppose you could run the risk. Um, you could run the risk of dropping 18 and Krillin and just do the fusion. Mm. But again, you run the risk of losing two for one. Yeah, but that's the thing. I think go tanks, especially if they fuse correctly, which let's say they do, I think yeah. Gotenks is a lot stronger than 18 and Krillin, definitely. Yeah. And it is definitely worth having Gotenks over them in a fight. I think they would literally have to spend the entire time from when the tournament is announced. All Just they would be allowed the to do <laughs> is practice the fusion. Mm. Like, literally, like, no sleep or anything like that. Fusion dance from morning till dusk. Yeah, because <laughs> let, let's say they did fusion right at the start, straight away, first thing they do, fusion. They're done. They've transformed. Even after half an hour, you know, three quarters of the fight is done pretty much at that point. There's not that many people left in the tournament. And when they unfuse, I think the two of them are still better because I don't think Krillin would last that long. 18, maybe. But either way, having two people around instead of one is still a better choice, even if they're yeah. not as fight prepared. Yeah, I suppose you could consider the risk. I think, yeah, yeah, I suppose. I mean, I think 
It just depends if you're willing to run the risk of fat Gotenks. I suppose that's the biggest thing. <laughs> uh, if, but if you... That's the thing. I think they will practice, though, and that's the whole point. Yeah, because it's like... Because a lot of people have asked the question previously. I mean, I've seen on the internet a lot of why, when Goku and Vegeta were struggling against Jiren, didn't they just fuse? Mm. Um, and it's just like, well, again, like even if they did successfully fuse, if Jiren eliminated them, then they're both out. <laughs> mm. yeah. um, and that that's the biggest risk you run with fusion is it's a two-for-one mm-hmm. elimination. Um, and I think Jiren would absolutely annihilate Gotenks. Hmm, potentially, but I, I don't think it would get to that point. I think before those two even lock on, Tanks would have done some damage to other universes, eliminate a few people. I think he would have to steer well clear of yeah. someone like that. Because but the, th- the thing is about Tanks is that's not his mentality. Hmm. You'd have to hope that older Gotenks would, would have... Listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the thing is... I would have liked to have heard a little bit more from the from them, but they literally turned up in the last five minutes of the mm, film. Yeah. You didn't really hear them talk. Did they even have any voice lines? Really? Yeah, they had voice lines. They were talking like, on that. Like other than little like sprucey bits, like we didn't really get any exposition from them, though, did we? Not really. Not too much. That's, that's what I mean. Like we didn't get any exposition voice lines other mm. than just like fighty stuff. Yeah, which is a shame. I what think. But I think, I think there was so much happening in the film that you couldn't really mm. expect it, could you? Yeah. The the only people who I expect to be a threat throughout all of this is Jiren, Top, because I think Top would have became more involved with his God of Destruction side, and I think he'll be more of a threat second time around. Oh, yeah. Hit. Potentially, Kaba Kael Khalifla, because they, if they've been training, they'll be stronger as well. Yeah. And also, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, the universe with all of the robots, I think they have a chance just to be like, okay, we lost pretty bad. We're making some new fighters here. And they just build ultimate fighters. And they're a lot stronger. I don't yeah. even... They, were, they, I, like, they made that giant robot, didn't they? Yeah. And that, that actually gave them a lot of bother. Yeah, because I think they'll just be like, all right, individually, we weren't too great. We're going to make some upgrades to everyone or just build new fighters completely. Yeah. Because that's, that's their whole thing. They, they're they robots. They create things. So they're going to either create new weapons or upgrades to the existing robots to make them stronger and faster and all that stuff. Or they're just going to build better fighters. Yeah. I, I think, I think a what, they, what they'd write in is they'd somehow make Rebrian and people stronger. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really know how they get much stronger, mm. uh, but I think they do it from just so they would be other stronger people, yeah. um, because they'd have to. But from from a, a lost record, to me, it would make sense that people like Jiren and Top would be stronger because the story makes sense that they would get stronger. Mm. Like Top is obviously following a path. Um, that's why that's why so many people think he should have been the main bad guy. Yeah. Because well, the main antagonist. Because, yeah. yeah, because it made sense. He was mm-hmm. becoming a god of destruction. Jiren didn't really have a decent story. Top did. Um, he was always there from the get-go. He was he was there at the um preliminary tournament and everything. He was always in the background. He was always like that's why everyone thinks it would have been a good idea for him. I want well, maybe not everyone, but a lot of people thought it would have been good. Yeah. I Apart from that, though, I don't really see too many other threats. Maybe Frost. If Frost decides, you know what, I've seen Frieza. He's pretty strong. I'm going to train a little bit. And maybe Frost learns a new form, potentially. But apart from that, no one else really stands out. Apart from, to me, I can't remember his name, but that guy who basically just looked like a superhero. He had the logo on his chest and he could switch his forms. So he had the really fast form, the really strong form, and then, like, the... I forgot what it was, like the ultimate form where he was like best at everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think if he just, you know, went straight into his ultimate form and was like, why did I waste time going just powerful or just fast? Why didn't I just stay ultimate the whole time? Imagine he just like knocks somebody out straight away, knocks 17 out immediately. (laughs) What just happened? (laughs) This could be a reason for Krillin to be in there because I think it would be interesting. Just right at the start, someone unexpected just 
boots out a main <laughs> member of the team, down a member straight away. They're like, oh, okay. First person out. It's like, dear. Yeah. yeah, that'll be interesting. But... Well, I suppose, yeah, I think if you're going to risk it um, and you're willing to risk the fusion, then yes, Goten and Trunks would be acceptable. Mm. Um, I'm still not convinced on the Broly card. I think it's a huge I risk. I think they would take them. I think they wouldn't have a choice. Cause... I think, yeah, I think it would depend on how desperate they felt. Mm. But I do think people sleep on Boo. Yeah, 100%. Boo would be one of the best people in there. He might even make it at the end. He might just survive. Yeah. Yeah. Just blow up, just blow up the entire like uh, ring. And that and just have him just floating at the end, just like <laughs> is that technically um, flying? You're not allowed yeah, to fly, although floating. they did so much in the tournament anyway. Yeah, so much floating, <laughs> floating. They weren't flying, go floating. <laughs> yeah, or just you know hitting each other so strong that they go up into the air. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think overall, you know, the main guys, Big Bad Universe Seven, they would have no trouble. I think they would still pick up the win. Yeah, I think to be honest, because of our because of our I nearly said orange Gohan there, because of <laughs> because Fanta of orange. Gohan. <laughs> yeah, I think whilst they were, I think we said like the universe was said to be one of the weakest universes. Mm. There's no way that could possibly be true now. No, orange Piccolo and um, Beast Mode Gohan or Beast Sun. Gohan. Son Gohan Beast or Beast Go- whatever he's called. Yeah. <laughs> um go on. They've just skyrocketed the power available to, to the universe. And mm. I just think that now we just we have so many Jiren level fighters that like Vegeta has improved his his martial form. So even if his power level hasn't particularly increased. He's now training his ability to fight, where his ability to fight has increased. Mm. And Goku is better at tapping. Ultra Instinct. Yeah, he's tapping into Ultra Instinct. Gohan is obviously ramping up. If he knew that the tournament's coming up, he's going to magically train and become a super fighter again. Mm-hmm. Um, Piccolo is obviously, he's going to always be training, so he's going to be able to tap into Orange Piccolo at will. I think it's going to be reasonable going forward that he is always going to be tap- able to tap into that. Mm. I think we have such a power ramp now that there's no way it can be considered one of the weaker universes. Yeah, Gamma it would be 1 in there as it would well. So much easier. Yeah, like Gamma's going to do some damage. Uh, by He's himself. at least ultimate, like yeah. at least ultimate form Gohan. Yeah, even without his blaster, which I know was a big part of his arsenal, especially was his blaster, which he wouldn't be allowed to take in there because that's a weapon, I guess. Yeah. But even without that, his hand to hand combat was fine uh, to take on Gohan for a, a period of time. So he would still be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was an animal. I mean, he was, uh, he was definitely. I mean, Gamma 2 had an attack when his, his final attack before he. Um, when he attacked Maxell, that had nothing. That was an energy attack. I feel mm. relatively confident. Mm. I mean, yes, it did kill him, but um, that was an energy attack that he had access to. Mm-hmm. So obviously, they do have access to energy attacks without the blasters. Yeah. Um, so he must have something in background. I mean, he is an android, so mm-hmm. I'm, surely they don't just have the blasters. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, he, he has got obviously the ability to fight and keep up with pretty much ultimate form Gohan Nion. Um so I think he'd do very well by yeah. himself. I think he's definitely CMR. a choice for the team, hundred percent. Hundred percent. But uh yeah, we've been talking about this a lot and I think we've we've made compelling arguments for why people should or shouldn't be in, in the team. Uh, I've got a feeling a lot of people will be salty with the fact that I straight away said no freezer. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it would be picked. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, I- I'm curious to know what people's opinions are on this. So leave comments if you agree or disagree with our picks, and that would be great. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on now to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> 